Hi, my name is Molly. Um, I'm delighted to be here playing for you this evening. I've chosen three pieces to play, and these pieces span over 300 years of violin writing. Um, I've chose these pieces because they push the violin and they push me as a violinist in different ways that I think is exciting to share with the audience. So, for example, starting with Manona Heron, um, it's a traditional Irish air that was composed by Sean O'Reada. Of course, 2021 is the 50th anniversary of Sean O'Reada's death. And in that time, Manona Heron has played a huge role in Sean O'Reada's legacy, from inspiring Kate Bush to Levi Jeans adverts. Um, so I find this piece really, really inspiring to play because it pushes me in all sorts of ways as a classically trained violinist to be comfortable in a traditional repertoire. Um, I really enjoy that challenge. And of course, it's a really beautiful piece. Then next is the Bach, the preludio from the partita number no. three in E major. So this piece was written sometime in the early 1700s and it's really, really well known. Um, I play about 5,000 semi-quavers in the whole piece. It's quite a challenge, but um, it's really beautiful. E, the key of E major is so bright and full of like golden sound that um, I think the audience really will enjoy it, hopefully. And then I'm going to finish with Perrin by Dobrinka Tabakova. Um, this piece was composed in 2001 for viola, but it was so popular that um, it was transcribed for violin a few years later. Um, Dobrinka is a Bulgarian composer, and she wrote this piece about a, a mountain near where she grew up in Bulgaria. Um, and the compositional techniques that she uses try to emulate the sound of a good dolka, which is a folk Bulgarian instrument. So it's three movements long, and for me, each movement represents a different aspect of life on the mountain. Um, and I find it really fun to try and convey that to the audience. So I hope they enjoy that one too. I'd like to say thank you to Irish Heritage for supporting me in so many different ways over the last couple of years. Um, their support and encouragement has really helped me to bridge the gap between being a violin student to a proper musician. And I can't really thank them enough for their, all of the ways that they have helped me. So thank you.